Today in this video, I will show you how to create a multi-select drop-down or you can say it searchable drop-down. So for that, we have to install a package and the package name is multi-select drop-down. So here is the browser and I will open a new tab and here I will type npm multi-select drop-down. So multi-select drop-down is the package name and click enter. So here is the link ng multi-select drop-down npm. So I will open this link and I will add the link in the description also. And you can read the document so here is the installation code in the right side you can see here npmi multi select drop down so i will copy this and in the visual studio code here i will open a, a new terminal so terminal new terminal and here i will paste the command and enter and it will take some time to install so uh, for that uh, we have to wait so guys the download is completed uh, you can see here the download is completed and when you download any package that are stored into the node models folder so I will go to the node models folder so here is the node models folder so here you can see ng multi select drop down are stored into the node models folder so again I will go to the browser and here are one dependency you can see here one dependency so the dependency is this tslib so we have to install this tslib also so i will go to the here tslib and the installation command is npm i tslib so i will copy this and in visual studio code here this in this terminal i will paste npm i tslib because this is the dependency so i have to install this tslib So the, this also installed and again I will go to the browser and I will go to the back. So now I will scroll it and here you can see and then include it in your module app module.ts. So I have to copy this and visual studio code i will open the app module.ts so here is the app module.ts file and here i will import this which i copied from there and now you can see in the imports array i have to import this line so i will copy this also and i will scroll this page So here is the imports array. So I will paste this line here and control S to save and close this. And guys, when we installed any packages and after completed the link also or import uh, also, then we are to start our project. So here is the terminal, and in the first terminal. You can see our project is running on local server 4200. So first of all, to restart our server, we have to terminate. So control C and Y for ES. And again, we have to start our server. So ng sa. and it's compiled successfully and then again I will go to the browser and I will scroll the page so you can see how we can use this so first of all I have to import 
this I drop down settings so I will copy this and I want to run it in home component HTML file so first of all I'll go to the home component TS file and here I will paste this import code command and again below the export class I have to paste this so here is the export class so I will paste it here and I will scroll the page and now here you can see into the ng on init I have to paste this command line so I will copy this and again so here is the ng on in it so below the ng on in it I will paste this here it's showing some error because in this package there are some error and we have to change the code from here so the error is the id drop down settings only refer to a type but is being used as a value here that means the id drop down settings is a type of drop down settings but it defines in here that means it refers as a value so we have to set is as a type so i will copy this drop down settings from id drop up to id drop down settings and here i will remove this and i will paste this so that means drop down setting type is id drop down settings so now id drop down settings is a type and so I will remove here I so you can see now the error is removed and again I will go to the browser and sc I'll scroll the page and I will copy this and in the html file i will paste this and control s to save and in the ts file i will paste control s to save and i will go to the browser so now you can see the drop down is working so now if i select uh, bangalore you can see it's working and you can remove also bangalore pune etc so now how we can handle this so here you can see in the ts file which i copied from the npm package manager so you can change the any city name like i can write here kolkata and anything uh, you can write here uttor pradesh anything you can write here so if I paste control to save and now if I go to the browser so you can see here it's changed into Kolkata and Uttar Pradesh and it's this dot selected items that means the Pune and Napsari it's already selected so you can see here you can change it also uh, instead of Pune you can write here Kolkata and so that means the Kolkata is selected from before and you can remove this so so here is nothing is selected from before now you can select it in any city and item show list if you write here 2 
and then if I select Kolkata, Uttar Pradesh, Pune, it's selected but it's only showing two values Kolkata, Uttar Pradesh because I write here items show limit two. If I write here three, they, then I can select it up to three values like Kolkata, Pune, New Delhi and now if I write here Napsari then it's selected but it's not showing so you can handle this like this so guys this is the multi select and also searchable drop down you can search here uh, Kolkata so you can see here it's Kolkata so it's a multi select or searchable drop down so hope guys this video is helpful for you and if you like this video then please subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon to go get more videos of angular